truck down the salt mine, they're gonna give Mick some morphine. Oh. So we're on the way to hospital, but but now we're fucking getting some morphine. We're on a ah. fucking went through this psycho puddle, fucking nearly monster in the car. Ah. But fuck, ah. we're nearly at the salt mine. We'll, we'll uh, ah. see how, how he goes after some morphine. Ah. <laughs> He's in some serious pain. Love ah. you. WA, I tore and fractured my shoulder, putting an end to a dream that was 40 years in the making of going up to the northwest. It was a hard pill to swallow because I feel like I let the team down by cutting short our journey. So it was back to the east coast to reset and heal. And that was it, we hit the road. For seven days straight, I drove across the top end of Australia from west to east so that we could get back and get Mick the treatment that he needed. With the last money that we had, we spent it all on fuel just to get home. So then when we got home, Mick had to get straight back into work, working on a fishing charter. He kept us going the whole time. He kept us afloat. And when we got back, I ended up tearing my ACL in half and my MCL. So it put us way back. But it made us reset and stop and find out what truly matters. Long, slow road. After two months of being stuck in the troopy and not being able to move or walk, then getting in and out. I was told by the doctors that I wouldn't surf again for 18 months. And I thought to myself, the only way you're gonna get through this is heal yourself by training hard and eating good food and possibly reattaching the ACL. So that's what I did. I trained seven days a week and didn't stop. I ate the mullaway that we'd catch off the rocks and just bone broth and it healed my knee. I'm sure of it. Your MRI pictures of your ACL that's healed and you can see the fibres going from the tibia up to the femur. And you've done a great job. Rehab, get back in the water. First time fishing off the rocks in like <laughs> eight weeks. Because of my knee, still in the brace. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, this is the first time. Pretty exciting. But it's so good to be out here on the rocks this morning fishing. Like, you just appreciate it so much, eh? Might be a bit of weed in there. Yep. Yep. Just letting go, bud. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, just bit me off. He gets fucking dusted up on his light gear. That's right. Ooh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> Oi, I'm getting me big gear fucking set up with you. Yeah. How was that? It was huge. It was an incredible feeling to be back on the rocks again and get hit by that beautiful big fish, to feel the power behind them. It's a one of a kind feeling. I reckon we go for another flick in there later. So we packed up, went and found some shade and got ready for the Arvo session. Let's go and see what the Alvi technician's up to. Go and have a little look. Oh, hello. What are you doing? I'm just tightening this up because it gets gunk all stuck in between this. You see? Yeah. And I'm tightening it up. There's a bit of a technique doing it because you got to get it. Even? Are you a qualified technician? <laughs> you taught me. <laughs> I have to be because you are. You're looking good, bub. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of gradually do it so it's not uneven. Otherwise. 
Otherwise, it's uneven. No. Yeah, the best thing. No, they're not. Because you tighten that up, bub, see? Oh, oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I thought you were qualified. See, there you go. The technician <laughs> knows it all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you qualified. No rattles. No movement. Beautiful. Nice and tight. That's what I need on my other one, but mine wouldn't tighten up. I can do yours for you. No, not this one. The other one. Bit of tension in the camp. <laughs> it's all passion. I'll just give it a quick spray and it'll be right. Dodgy brother. Just spray some lanolin in there. Check this out. That is so smooth. Is that back to the front? <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> it's perfect. It's in reverse. <laughs> Spring spell. Spring spell. Uh, yeah, it's down. Going for a flick tonight. We got back down to the hole and dark, uh, and I reckon I got hit by the same fish as the morning. Nice little fish. Can't let him go, bub. He's just gone in next to that ledge. After 15 minutes and one hell of a fight, I finally got the opportunity to go and gaff it. Be careful. Do the gaff, bud. Just wash him over. Where is he? Just down here. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Holy fuck. Let's get him over here, get him over here, bite it off. Yeah, bite him off now. Oh, What a beautiful fish. Fucking good job, darling. My back's coming. Oh, good job. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, big fish. Big fish, bub. Big beautiful fish. I knew he was big. Wow, 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 wow. Let's get out of here. Going fishing's half the job done. The other half is cleaning it and it pays to take your time and make every little bit count. Well, you're up all night and your head's down low If you can see your own kind Out of something bad happening to me like that injury, something great happened. I've been fishing since I was three years old and it's taken me my lifetime to catch that fish off the rocks. And that's 24 years that I've dedicated my whole life to the ocean. At the filling table, we met this beautiful family and we swapped them some fish for some honey. They drove all the way back to their farm where their animals and their kids were. They were down there getting water because we were in a drought and they had no water on their property. Everyone's just trying to survive. So tell me, I, I don't really know Queensland, but isn't Bundaberg, that's not on the coast, is it? Um, no, like, so how so do you end up a surfer then? Yeah, so you got Bundaberg yeah. and then you've got Bagara. I've only heard of these places, yeah. I've never been up and, there. Um, yeah, Dad was a fisherman Yeah. and um, he surfed as well. Yeah, yeah right. And yeah. Um, he got me into surf when I was about three. Yeah, right. And Because um, you get tiny little waves, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, so... 
that's how it all came that's about. That's how it all came about, Very and I good. just started surfing and Very good. fishing yeah. and just living. Yeah, bloody oath. With Dad. Bloody and oath. Have you seen the jewels inside the head? What's that made out of, mate? Calcium or yeah, something? Yeah, it's like it? calcium. Feel them. Bang them together. Like you can... That's how they cool out. You just taught us something, man. Yeah, I yeah, never yeah. knew that, eh? What are they called? Odalith. 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 It's part of their ears. It's part of For their... Balance or? Uh, yeah. 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 Odalith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We collect, we collect them, we've taken them out of every fish we get. What, what do you do with that? It's like, we just, we just treasure them. Yeah, we like just keep them, yeah, they're like, um... Well, they're sort of like about here or something on the fish, are they? Yeah, here, yeah, just yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, come have a look. So that's its, obviously its head, but it's up in, so oh. it's, they sit up in here in the yeah, middle. Right. Oh, yeah, Don't okay. spin out and think, oh, what's in the bloody honey? It's, okay. There might be a bit of beeswax. All right, oh, yeah, no worries. You know little tea strainers? Yeah. Held it there for like four hours <laughs> trying to strain all the honey. <laughs> I wanted to go get one. They're going, no, no, we want to do it today. I said, oh. I said, righto. So we extracted and just held a little tea strainer to try and get all the beeswax out. Yeah, nice. But nice kids are kids and they were g up to do it. So. Yeah, yeah, Thank you so much, guys. One eh? each so no one can yeah. hide it all the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, this is going to be going down. Anyway. I'm yeah. Tim, mate. Hey, yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Sure. Sue, lovely to meet you, Sue. And I'm Tim. Tim Talia. Nice to meet you, guys. Yeah, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good yeah, to meet It's 11.20. Yeah, these is Tim and Sue's honey that they gave us. So, straight out of the hive. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> Look at that. Butter. It's no syrup made in China, that's for sure. Fresh. Wow, is it insane? Honey, straight out of the hive, amazing. Amazing? With a hint of beeswax. Mmm. Thanks, Tim and Sue. Yeah, thanks, guys. Bloody awesome. Absolutely amazing. Wicked. Back up at four in the morning. Yep. We're on a bit of a dewy bender. Yeah, we're on a full bender. Yeah. We're on a proper dewy bender. Well, we are anyway. So we're going to get up at, we'll get up at four in the morning and have a little flick on daylight. And then go have a train because we're both still injured and Mick's working on his shoulder, getting it strong. And I'm working on my knee. That's quick. Well, we're doing fine. I haven't surfed. I did mine on the 30, 30th. Oh, no, the 28th of June. 28th of June. So I've been out since 28th of June. And Four I'm months. On. Mick's been out with a fractured shoulder and dislocated shoulder. Yeah. So, um... Oi, I haven't been able to do anything for like seven weeks, like nothing. Yeah. And I went fishing for the first time today and I hooked a huge dew this morning. Yeah. <laughs> like a huge one. That yeah, thing was fucking... And then we went back on dark, the Sabo, and I got a... What was it, you reckon? Probably. It was a good fish, whatever it was. <laughs> but, um... We're going to smash this feed and go to bed and get up again and do it all over again. Park, we're down here. It's probably 20 minutes before the sun's coming up, maybe half an hour even more. Like it's just daylight now. So far out, your wetty top smells like dead fish. Oh, that is on another level from those dewies being wrapped up in it. Wow. Let's go over, eh? Let's get over there. How's, how's the anticipation after a massive coffee in the morning and you've got first flick in the hole and you can just see your rod tip, the anticipation's high. Tails is feeling it at the moment, she's under pressure. <laughs> Here she goes. had a few flicks in the hole with no success and then I got hit by a real nice fish. Is he hooked on a rock? No, he's still on it. I was talking on go. 
smart fish too. Really smart. Look at him. Oh, I just grab him. We'll let him go. and you kill these fish for your food and you know where they are and you know how to catch them. It's only fair to let a couple go. For what you take from the ocean, it will always reward you. So you must respect it and always give back. <laughs> After the release, I was pumped and ran up and had a flick in the hole. And soon enough, I was on. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. I'll go and land him. I'll get him down in here, bud. Keep him up, we'll keep him. Let him go. Yeah. yeah, I know. One, two, three. Tackle, will get out of it. Get there. Get him. Or right, you go down. Or you go to, go to go and get the floor. Go and take him to the rock wall. In there. Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 quick. I'm getting in there. since she was as big as our hand. She's grown up in these rock pools and I'm sure she's got the same connection with these beautiful fish as what we do. This is also her life. Over here, bud. Yep. Go, Tat. Go, Tat. I've been searching for Beautiful, he's gone. Fuck, hold on, wave. Oh, I've got the um, <laughs> got, the, got the hook out safely and um, let him go. Um, Fuck, I was fishing, I was having a flick out and had to run over with me bung leg. Fuck me, um, brace got Paul won't be happy with that. Oh, uh, he's a nice little fish. Hey, he was good. He's probably like ten kilo, eh? Nice to let him go. Nine, ten kilo. Yeah, nice to let him go. Yeah, he's back, he's back in. Yeah, he's back in. <laughs> so he's Mate, I'm Robocop. So we headed back home to the troopy and had a bit of a feed and then got ready for the Arvo sesh. We'd never buy that. It was Ma like, it was 15 bucks for the loaf. Manual toaster. Wait, but we got it for two bucks something. Best toaster I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> look, it's done, look. <laughs> How is it? Beautiful. Is it pretty nice? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just making a cuppa. Didn't having have some brekkie. Having some brekkie and... Uh, well, because yeah, I've got tired from yeah. no coffee. Yeah, we don't function very well off no coffee. Oh, the coffee's warm. Do you know what I love too about now is like the, we're in the middle of suburbia and we're doing it. Look. <laughs> I mean, the ranger will come in a minute and shut it down. <laughs> I've got to get out of here quick, guys. Why? No, just because. Oh, because the ranger could come. Yeah. Yeah, true. We're on again. Doesn't matter what size fish you catch, it's always a different fight. Every fish is different, but just as exciting. Fuck, he's a big fish, bud. Oh, he's doozy. He'll be still green as. Yeah, yeah. 
training and fishing every day and continued on our path and we finally reached our goal of getting back in the water. Walk away. Feel it out, just get your feet, just roller coaster up and down, just just don't push it and fuck, I'm excited to see you get your first wave. <laughs> so excited. I'm excited to see you catch a wave too, it's oh. been so long. I don't do that much talk. So we paddled out and caught our first wave together. It was good to be back. As surfers, it's the missing piece to our life's puzzle. These days I seem to think a lot about the things that I forgot to do. As long as you've got the one beside you that you love the most, you got food in your belly and you've got a roof over your head, everything else in life is far, far trivial. The money, the cars, the houses. When you start to have all these things, you start to become weighed down. That's why we live like this and that's why we've always lived like this. One thing that remains a constant around the ocean is change. Changes in sand, changes in winds, changes in tide. Just like the changes in time in our lives. It can take us in a totally new direction to what we thought we needed to go. So look and listen for the hints of change in your life and follow your path. This is for Australia. <laughs> Just like oh, we've got. Joking. 